engine assembly, cylinder head, install the cylinder head. Before installing the camshaft holder, check the double pins for wear or damage. Also loosen the valve adjusting screw and lock nut fully. Install the camshaft holder by aligning the double pins with holes in the cylinder head. While seating the camshaft holder, ensure that the projection on the camshaft flange is facing upwards. Install the washer on the camshaft holder special nut with the flat end facing towards the camshaft holder and install the special nuts. Install the cylinder head side bolts. Now tighten the special nuts in a criss-cross pattern in two to three steps to the specified torque. Camshaft holder special nut torque value is 3.2 kg meter. Tighten the cylinder head side bolts. Tighten the rocker arm shaft lock bolts. Tighten the camshaft stopper plate bolt. Ensure the piston is at TDC and install the cam sprocket on the camshaft. Align the cam sprocket bolt holes. Install and hand tighten the cam sprocket bolts. Be careful not to drop the bolts into the cylinder during installation. Install needle roller bearing on the crankshaft. Apply molly oil on the starter driven gear inner surface. And install it on the flywheel by rotating it anti-clockwise. Before installing, ensure that the tapered end of the flywheel and crankshaft has been degreased. Check that there are no metallic parts or filings attracted inside the flywheel due to magnetism. Install the flywheel on the crankshaft aligning the keyway in the flywheel with the wood rough key. Install the washer with the flat end inwards. Apply engine oil to the flywheel flange nut threads and hand tighten. Now hold the flywheel with the clamp type magnet holder. Tighten the flywheel flange nut to the specified torque. Flywheel flange nut torque value is 7.4 kg meter. Before installation, check the starter reduction gear, shaft and collar for wear or damage. Now, first seat the starter reduction gear aligning with the hole on the crankcase and insert the shaft and then the collar. Install the double pins. Install the gasket. Install the left crankcase cover. Install and tighten the left crankcase cover bolts. 
always insert the bolts first and check the protruding distance from the left crankcase cover to the bolt head without threading it in. The distance should be similar for all the bolts. If any bolt is found to be having more or less distance, check for the correct location of the bolt. Tighten the left crankcase cover bolts in a criss-cross pattern. Now install the contact chain spring and cap. Install a new O-ring on the neutral switch and apply oil on the O-ring. Install the neutral switch and tighten the bolts. Be careful not to over tighten the bolts. Guide the neutral switch wire in the holder. Now hold the flywheel nut as shown and tighten the cam sprocket bolts. First tighten the bolt located next to the O mark and then the other. Remove the stopper tool from the lifter assembly tensioner to release the tensioner shaft. Install a new O-ring and tighten the pan screw. Always use impact drive to tighten the pan screw.